Hey guys, Ben the Demon coming at you with a That's Random video. I put out a video and started recording footage and then my computer com crashed and I had to get a new computer. So I have a new computer and I went to start putting things together, got Pinnacle on it and I can't find one single SD card with more than one or two gigs. If you record in high definition 1080, that just really is not enough to do a, a good sized video. You'd only have three minutes of footage. So it's just little problems like that, work, taxes, everything, and it's just kind of slowed me down. And I wanted to do something to get back in the habit of releasing uh, videos one to two a week like I originally planned on doing for this uh, That Random series. So I put the uh, YouTube Capture app on my iPad and kind of rigged myself up a little tripod for the meantime until I can go down and get some SD cards to put out a new video since I haven't in a while. Recently, um, I just watched this, rewind this, it's a documentary on VHS tape and the video, rise and fall of the video industry, um, the up rising of videotape, video collectors, anything VHS, and a series I wanted to do on this, um, or a segment I wanted to do on this series that's random is talk about random VHS, stuff that's out of print, stuff that they haven't put on DVD, stuff that should never have even been released on video at all, just weird and obscure things, and I have enough VHS, I think I could do five, you know, five a uh, video and do this as a weekly segment or a bi-weekly segment, so I wanted to jump right into it. First, we'll talk about Freddy's Nightmares. And this is a really cool series. It's uh, Freddy's Nightmares is a TV series based on Nightmare on Elm Street, kind of like the Tales from the Crypt sort of thing. In the beginning, you have the bookends of uh, uh, Freddy Krueger, played by Robert England, um, talking about the movie and the commercial or the episode. In the commercial breaks, he comes up and he's at the end. So he's the host, and it's just these short stories. But the first one, I think it's the first one or one of them, is called No More Mr. Nice Guy. And it's really cool because it's like the Springwood Slasher. It's a prequel to the movies, and it's directed by Toby Hooper. It's not the best as far as quality, but it does have Robert England. And if you ever wanted to see sort of a Springwood Slasher movie or a prequel, uh, this would be the closest thing you have besides the brief beginning of Freddy vs. Jason. And to my knowledge, they have not released this on DVD yet. I might be wrong, but I haven't been able to find it. So that's a cool thing I wanted to show you guys first. The next one I wanted to show was uh, Vincent Price, and it's just very weird. At first I thought this was actually a movie called Step Into the Third Dimension. It's like an infomercial for a 3D or 4D camera. And the whole thing is just this infomercial for this camera showing what the camera can do. This was put in, out in 1989, I believe. And it's just so crazy, you know. I thought it would be a horror movie starring Vincent Price when I first saw it. Step into the third dimension. You can see an older Vincent Price holding the weird camera. And they make it like a movie. They have the director here and all the actors, the writers starring Vincent Price. <laughs> You really think it would be a movie, and then you pop it in, and it's just a giant infomercial. It has Vincent's Price voice <laughs> as narration, but that's it. And if I guess if you read it, you kind of can tell that it's... Sorry, I don't have a tripod. It's propped against the light. But I just thought that's the most random, bizarre thing, and you'd never see this get a re-release, of course, and why they even released it and why they did it like that is just beyond me. It's not an instructional video, and it's probably one of the most boring infomercials you'll ever see. Still on horror, and we'll move on to something else. The next one has a 99 cents price tag. Um, I had to replace it, is Boogeyman. And this is really neat. It's a compilation of all these clips from horror movies. They talk about it a little bit. There's trivia on the bottom. It has trailers. And I'm pretty sure this was released on DVD as well, one of the, the early DVDs. And this is just really neat. Um, actually discovered the ugly because of this videotape. And the ugly is just really good New Zealand horror movie. I like it a lot. A lot of people don't like it. It was really hard to find. You can never get it anywhere. And then Saw 1 was released on video and Walmart bundled it. So a lot of people got it that way buying Saw and just hated the movie. And I just thought it was really awesome when I first saw it. 
Next thing is kind of too. If you remember Pogs in the 90s, we have Milk Cap Mania Volume 1, Playing Caps and Slammers, and then we have Milk Cap Mania Volume 2, Collecting Caps and Slammers. These came with a sheet of Pogs. I have them somewhere. Uh, they're Wacker Caps. And these are just cheese, 90s cheese, and just shows the different ways you can play Pogs, and the kids are total dorks, <laughs> even for the time. I mean, and you got this guy. <laughs> if I can, can't really zoom in, but look at that guy. He's just so excited about playing with kids and their milk caps. This kid, I think, has a cigarette behind his ear on this other video. <laughs> it's just, so if you remember Pogs, it was so big there actually was videos, kind of like a skate video for skateboarding, but them playing Pogs, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> right, let's do a couple more. We have time for a couple more. Uh, here we go. For my bronies out there. My Little Pony, the princess. Let's check this out here. nice glitter which is really bizarre about this one is just shows how long they made VHS and how popular the format was this was produced in 2006 and that was the main reason I bought it is because I never saw a VHS tape nobody was kind on that one I haven't never watched it should probably watch it and become a brony like everybody else is becoming these days but I just have no interest in My Little Pony besides collecting purposes or watching the show, the new show everybody says it's so great, I see kids come into the video store and they're wearing <laughs> bronies t-shirts man, the guys they're like between 13 and 19 year old guys, hipster looking dudes, and I don't know if any of my watchers are bronies, they come in all the time requesting the weirdest My Alone o Pony stuff from like the 90s 80s maybe, and I just can't find the stuff on video. I wish I could for the store I run. Um, I have a video store um, in uh, Fruita, Colorado, and we ran all kinds of videos out, and people are just, these guys are crazy about My Little Pony right now, and I completely do not understand it, but you would be amazed how many people come in that are guys between 13 and 16, 17 years old, hipster-looking dudes, wanting My Little Pony. They don't have no kids. I, I'm, am I missing something um, entirely? I'm going into kind of like a separate My Little Pony rant. But it's just so weird to me that that... And it, more temp power too, yeah. I'm a collector. I like all kinds of stuff. I have a little My Little Pony in my collection. It's not a big deal. I just don't know what's so great about this, why it's causing this, this sensation across America. Um, if, do you guys have any brony stories? I'll just leave it at that for right now. But, yeah. It's another little weird one I have. And the last one we'll talk about today is a Christian video. We're talking about how music will make you suicidal and is today's music killing our kids. And it's just crazy. And when you see something like this and why I bought it is I was reading the back and you would expect bands like Eminem, or Korn, or the Insane Clown Posse, or Marilyn Manson to be these bands that they're talking about. But since this is this Christian video, uh, <laughs> it's just, I was blown away to see the Backstreet Boys on this list. Christina Aguilera. I didn't know Christina was having such negative influence on the children. I can understand somebody listening to a Backstreet Boys album and wanting to kill themselves. I get it. But what did Christina do? And just to see those people, you have this guy on a toe tag. Got the toe tag. It says, Music to Die For. It's today's music killing our teens. And you see Backstreet Boys, Limp Bizkit, Eminem, and Christina Aguilera right there. I would never thought in a million years I would see uh, Christina Aguilera being compared to the insane clown posse as far as troubling our youth. Ricky Martin. <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous. It's just total, you know, it's that like Christian 
cool Christian propaganda tape you know, sort of video. You know, you listen to this sort of music, you're going to hell. And I didn't know that until I started doing more research, and it's totally a Christian video, which I have nothing against the religion or people who are religious, but sometimes they put out these videos for their teens to give them among their church members, and they're just weird. I mean, and what makes it so funny to me is just having Christina Aguilera and Backstreet Boys being compared to Eminem and Marilyn Manson. They're just not even compared in the same ballpark, if you ask me. But let me know what you think of the series, talk about any VHSs that you have that are odd and obscure, and then in a week or two, or the next video, a couple videos in, I'm going to do another one of these with five or six more different videos that are just kind of weird that they even put that on VHS or out of print. The same sort of thing. Uh, sorry that it's all guerrilla style and one take. I, I stumbled a bunch. No edits. Um, I'm not even sure how this program really works or this app works. So we'll see how it went and upload it. And if you guys are watching it, then I figured it out. Until next time, guys, hopefully with a better video.